How are over 50 students from five local schools going to solve one real world problem? Let's find out on this episode of CQ Problem Solvers. We're in the city of Apple Valley out at Mojave Water Agency. Nick, what is the challenge the students are working on today? So today we are having our students develop a new technology that is going to innovate the water conservation field for California. <laughs> okay, this sounds like a rather large task. What are they going to be doing to solve this? So this is a huge task. This is probably the biggest thing we've done. And we are asking the students to invent a new product or a new idea to solve a water conservation problem. So we laid out some problems that the state of California is facing in the terms of the water industry. And with new legislation and new regulations coming out, the water industry is shaping up to be a bigger challenge nowadays. And everybody is experiencing higher highs and lower lows when it comes to water usage and water droughts. So we are having these students figure out how we make it through the next big drought. What are some of the ideas you guys have come up with so far? So we're thinking of creating an app that connects to your water sources. And so it tells you your water usage and how much water is coming out of each of your faucets and taps. What are one of the challenges that you guys are working to uh, solve? Uh, we want to see in our consumers how much water they waste within their household. And so we're trying to find different um, ways to see how to solve that problem. So like with swamp coolers or pools outside, we want to um, implement ways to decrease the amount of water that we need. We're up here in Apple Valley again at the Mojave Water Agency. Day two, the students are about to present to the judges that are behind me right here the ideas and the concepts they've come up with to help save water. Let's see how well they do. And your product is what? Well, our product is called Droplet, and basically this measures the amount of water that's being consumed by a household in cubic feet. And from that data get, gets into a cellular tower, we then retrieve that data and then give it back to the consumer. Because, I don't know if you know, but a lot of people don't actually know how much water they're consuming. Nick, the ideas have been presented in what? Yeah, totally different than any other year we've done this, but this is the best year we've had so far. So innovative, so creative. These kids have really, really done it this year. So if you have a problem that needs solving, or you think you have what it takes to be a CQ problem solver, go to curiositycrest.org, click on the CQ problem solver link, and let us hear from you.